<laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming. <laughs> Especially on such short notice. So what is going on? All in good time, Blair. <laughs> for those of you who haven't met him, this is Drake Faraday. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Dorian, come on. We're full oh. of suspense here. What is going on? Just a moment. Oh, good, Joe. You brought your camera. Yes. Marvelous. All right. I guess it's time to make my announcement. I brought you here because I want to... Where's Vicky? Um, she, she's... detained. It's really important to me that she be here. She is coming, isn't she? Well, that's what she... Yeah, she said she was. Wonderful. We'll wait for her then. Because I want everybody to be here, but most especially... Vicky. <laughs> now everything is perfect. Uh, more than perfect. Drake? <sighs> All right. The announcement I need to make is, in a sense, sad news. This wonderful, clever, handsome, charming man who's been in Landview for far too short a time. <laughs> has to leave. Now, I've done everything I can to persuade him to stay, but to no avail. That's the sad news. Now, here is the good news. Because his work necessitates that he travel an awful lot, and traveling alone can be so, mm, well, lonely, he's asked me to go with him. Now, I thought of all the reasons why I shouldn't go, okay? Uh, I will miss my family. I will miss my home. I will miss the Ladies Club of Landview. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but at any rate, having considered all the most important things, I have still decided that my answer to you, Drake... Yes. ...is that. Yes! 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 <laughs> and that's why I invited you all over here. Isn't that the best news ever? <laughs> Dorian. You can't be serious. Dorian, don't you think this is a little sudden? Look, he may have great hair, but you don't know anything about this Drake guy. You're still vulnerable. Who is he? Yeah. Where's he from? Okay, look, at least let me get the son to run a check on the guy before you run off with him. Wait a minute. Just stop right there. Okay? I, I cannot believe this. I invite you over to share in my happiness, and instead you insult my friend. You question my judgment. You know, as much as I want you to be my traveling companion, if your friends and relatives think that uh, we're being impulsive, maybe we should listen. We're not going to listen, because I have the feeling... We're on to something that could bring us an awful lot of happiness. Me too. I'm going to give us some champagne. Yeah, why don't you do that? Do you, what if it doesn't bring you happiness? Oh, well, then I'll have another failed relationship. What else is new? What do you know about this guy? I know that he was a very good friend of Mel. Doesn't that speak volumes about his character? But your only proof of that is his word. Well, I trust his word. To be a celebration. Anybody not in the mood to celebrate should just leave. This is a family, and we're a little concerned here. I am not a teenager looking for approval. I'm also not delusional. All right? I mean, I, I'm i still alive. Don't you think I'm entitled to a little bit of happiness? That's not the point. Have you ever thought that maybe he's after your money? Uh, Dorian, Kelly and I are getting married. You're going to miss our wedding. How do you know you love him? Excuse me, I'd like to say something. Oh, of course. Yes, Victoria, say whatever you like. Go. Go, Dorian. If this man makes you happy, go with him. Go anywhere in the world you want to. Enjoy your life while you can and be happy. And to hell with what everybody here thinks. I'm so surprised. I never thought that you would be on my side. Yeah, you might get hurt. So what? You know, playing it safe is no guarantee of happiness. Nor is it a guarantee of having a life without loss and pain. I mean, come on, what do you want to do? Wind up at the end of your life with a list? 
The things you didn't do? You, you spent your whole life breaking the rules. Why would you change now? <laughs> Since when have you ever cared about Dorian's happiness, Vicky? You have always hated her. You go for it. Give them hell and grab all the adventures that are out there waiting for you. And if they include love, so much the better. Because it can all disappear in a heartbeat. Beautiful, you guys weren't even smiling. Kelly, I know this seems very abrupt to you, but well, I do hope in time you'll come to accept Dorian's decision. I'm I care about her very much. As a matter of fact, I'd have to say I'm head over heels. Well, I certainly hope so. My Aunt Dorian is very important to me, to all of us. Well, she and I are gonna be as happy as she tells me that you and your fiance are. Well, that's not a fair comparison, Drake. I mean, we've known each other for years. We trust each other. Totally. I wasn't sure where you had run off to. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Dorian. Vicky, are you all right? Oh, yes. Of course, I'm all right. Oh, yeah, I think I have something in my eye, that's all. Mascara. Oh, I hate when that happens. That was quite a speech you made. I meant every word of it. I could tell. I would have thought my leaving Landview would mean so much to you. <laughs> oh, Dorian. You know, good or bad, you and I have been through so much. I mean, our lives, our families are intertwined. But that speech wasn't about our past or our family. No, I guess it wasn't. I've just been thinking a lot lately uh, about priorities. I guess that's where it came from. This is me you're talking to. We've wrestled far too long for me not to know when you're hiding something. What's going on with you? <laughs> 